I'm David Lauderstein, and uh, we're excited because soon we're going to be having a workshop in craniosacral work by uh, Liz Hoffmaster, who is a physical therapist who's worked with some of the greatest teachers of craniosacral work, uh, John Upledger, Hugh Milne, and others. And uh, one of the excitements and one of the reasons that a therapist might want to learn craniosacral work is that it's very, very good for working with people who have headaches, with people or even infants who've had birth trauma, with uh, people who have tension that is, resides and is residual from oral surgery, from dentistry, from early falls where one goes, hits on their head. And so cranial work to me is one of the tools that should be in every therapist's tool bag and something that can really help you help people. Um, what I'd like to do is just show you a few techniques as I explain it further. So the way one often may start a craniosacral session is by doing what's called a vault hold. And this gets an overall and gives you an overall impression for how free is the cranium in its movement. So just to exaggerate, you can see that my hands are kind of being pushed out and then kind of going in. And it turns out that the cranium, like the chest, expands and contracts the chest in and out with the breath, the cranium out and in with the movement of the cerebral spinal fluid within the uh, cranial cavity. And so I'm looking for symmetry, I'm looking for amplitude of movement, I'm looking for ease, and even as I feel this, I can feel the person just feeling more relaxed as they feel their head gently uh, cushioned by my hands. And I'm getting a readout for all the cranial bones here because of where my fingers are variously placed. 